name's Rebecca Dillo. I am a senior craftsperson in the Bijou department at the Stratford Festival. We work on soft accessories and hard accessories. So that could be anything from ties and cravats to jewelry as in earrings, necklaces, tiaras. So there's a wide range. I would say the most interesting thing about the Bijou department is that we do things from start to finish. In the beginning, we'll be given a sketch from the designer. We sit down and have a designer talk with them. We get the feel and idea of what they're after, the time period, um, whether they want it to be really realistic, like for metals. Sometimes our patrons are war vets or they are real history buffs and they would be able to spot what a real true metal would look like because they have them themselves. The neat thing about us is that we do the hand cutting with the metal, we do the epoxy, we do soldering, we do um, hand beading, we do wiring, all that stuff. So it, it, people don't realize how much actually goes into what we do. For Course Line, all of the girls and guys had heat set crystals, so like sparkly looking kind of rhinestones on the back of their jackets, on the top of their hats. And there were 25 people in that show that we had to build things for. A lot of this job involves collaborating with different departments. Something like the snoods that were in Romeo and Juliet, that was collaborated with the millinery department. So we have a milliner who built the base, which was a wire frame. And then once it, it was built and constructed, it came to us and we added the details to it. These are the wraps uh, that are being used in Breathing Hole. This is a really unique show because we have a lot of native collaborators that have given our designer pointers. And these bones are actually a real carcass that was found and cleaned. Um, but those are real bones. Everything in Bijou has to be done so that it will last the whole season. Like even a typical necklace, you really have to make sure the pieces that you choose will hold up. In Take Back Your Mink, they, they take the necklaces off and throw them on the ground. So I literally had to like throw the necklaces on the ground. I had to make sure they would stay together. <laughs> I would say Bijou brings that finished look. Like we have Nathan Detroit in Guys and Dolls. At the end, he's going to get married. And something as simple as a corsage, that's just a tiny little finishing touch, but it sort of completes the whole picture. Uh, it can make our characters come to life. It can help them to uh, really get into their character, which is a lot of fun. I really like it. <laughs>